Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays Children of Morta. This game, it's, it's wormed its way inside of me. Body and soul, like Mr. Darcy from Pride and Prejudice. Unfortunately, we've been getting our butt kicked lately. Tomo, I'm just gonna slide you just a little. Just a, just a little slide. That way I can use the desk for its intended purpose. Okay. We're going down to the third part of the Kale Dippo Caves. We're gonna be Kevin. He's the least leveled. But really, if we do okay in the cycle, every hero we play should be the least leveled at that time because they should be leapfrogged by the three that come before them and then they should be first. I think. So I remember, um, I remember Kevin. His right click is like AOE daggers. And then... The more enemies he kills, oh thank god, in quick succession, the higher his attack speed gets. I believe. He charges up like a rage meter. That being said, Kevin has not dealt with the third level of the Kale Dippo Caves yet. Um, anytime you're up there with melee, it's all- ooh, close. It's always going to be a little touchier. When enemies get stun locked, is no problem. When enemies don't get stun locked, oh no. It's a major problem. So this is horrible. <laughs> This is, this is just god-awful. But I think we can make our way out of this. Well, you know what Dan says? How do you get yourself out of a jail cell full of chocolate, made out of chocolate cake? One bite at a time. The good news is, and it's actually very good news. We will also 100%. Oh, walked right into it. 100% level up once this is over. Terrible hit. Got lucky not to get double tapped, I think, by the purple ball as well. Freaking shadow ball over here. Help. This is just an absolutely god-awful start for us. But I, you know, we're making it work. We're getting there. And you gotta admit, it's a valuable lesson, you know? What's the lesson? Don't keep walking into enemies before you tackle the first pod of enemies. It's not gonna work out well for you. Although, actually, it appears to be working out just fine. <laughs> Everything is actually going pretty much A-OK -okay there. We took a little bit of damage, we got a lot of experience. Decent amount of loot. Okay. But anyway, what I was gonna say is, you know, it's always hard. You're a, a melee character living in a ranged character's world. I don't know if that's even true. Just easier to be, yikes, defensively minded. Thank you. When you're, uh, when you're playing as a character that can get away a little bit more easily. Send Kevin into the shadows, vanishing from sight and allowing him to move around unhindered. Chance to instantly kill weaker enemies on the following attack. For 30 seconds? Allow Ke Oh, you choose! Shadow Cloak or Guardian's Rage. Oh, no, no, they're two different. Okay. Send him into the ultimate frenzy. Yo, that seems great. But we're, we're obviously gonna get both, but... I mean, this does seem very nice, honestly. Let, let's start with the defensive ability. Wow. I'm a baddie. Um, I figured the offensive ability sounds cooler, but why not start with the defensive ability? That way, if things get hot, they don't know where I am. 
That way, if things get hot, we have an escape mechanism. And apparently, we can use it once every 30 seconds, which is really good. So I'm using that as a springboard to get to our next level. That's my, my hope and dream, anyway. And I don't think it's gone that badly to start with. I mean, what the heck is this? Lawnmower man face again. Wait, okay. No, 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 no. I'm... We've been here before. It's another shopkeeper, right? Where am I? Where? There I am. Hold on. We got a globe in there as well. Hey. There you go. I think we want to try to be where the pods spawn. Help. Because if we can pretty reliably sort of stun lock uh, the casters to death. Unfortunately, we stand still for even a millisecond. These guys, and they don't attack from the same vector all the time. They're always moving around. You gotta actually click on them. Still the hardest habit of all the break is not dodge rolling constantly. Trying to save the dodge roll for when it's truly most important. You know, it gets you out of a real jam. So this did not go well from an HP standpoint, but we did free the whatever the heck this is. Hello? We got some HP out of that. Damaged enemies burn in fire. Okay, so I guess if you haven't found the shopkeeper, it's a shopkeeper room. If you have found the shopkeeper, it's just a free item, maybe? Maybe? Look, I'll take anything. Sorry, we got a little Kermit voice there. I'll take anything, you know? We're not one-hitting most enemies. If we can hit them and then have them burn to death in a little bit of fire, that's like A-OK -okay by me. I'm not going to be too picky about it. Also, I hate to get our hopes up. Especially unnecessarily so. But... Anything that does D.O.T. Strikes me as being A-OK -okay for our boss fight. Basically, I still think, I don't know, you can probably dodge the boss's attacks because, you know, I've played other video games in my life and usually that's kind of like a central element. <laughs> it's like you memorize the boss's patterns, you get a strategy for dealing with them, and then you, you know, Bob's your uncle. However, if we can't memorize or have a hard time memorizing the boss's attacks, maybe we could just treat it as a straight up, like, DPS check. 700 gold. Feeling pretty good. Already found our first item. We're only one floor in here, so no need to get too concerned. A totem that greatly buffs you. Like this idea. Unlike uh, Linda, or Sheila, I always forget. We're actually, like, fairly likely... Yikes. To stay in the range of the totem. And it does say greatly buff you. It doesn't say, you know, modestly buff you. It says greatly buff you. I think we're done. Run. I just wanted to see what would happen. Okay. First floor, I give myself a C plus. Not great, not terrible. Next floor. Ah! <laughs> okay, okay. Next floor, let's just, you know, I'd be happy with another C+. Plus. You know why? C+, plus is passing. And if we're passing, as far as I'm concerned, that probably means we're alive. How did I not hit you? I need to work on actually clicking on the enemies. Turns out... Actually targeting the enemies you want to hit is a uh, surprisingly valid skill. Still got a charge. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay. 
I hate the sound they make when they burn, though. Get him. Okay, it's a big one. Get ready. Well, didn't get as much out of the totem as I wanted. It's okay. Bare minimum, we can always use the shadow form as a way to get closer to our next cooldown. As, or to, as a way to get the cooldowns taken care of as well. Whenever possible, at least. But, you know, why not just ride it out for 30 seconds? So we got much better critical damage. Just keep it going. Only use the dodge when you need to use the dodge. Get a little bit more comfortable. Especially if you only got one enemy. You're probably okay just walking backwards. Yo, that was huge. A charm. What is it? Increased dodge chance. Only temporarily, but... You know. It's like getting a pill in Isaac or something, I suppose. It's not a great get, but it's okay. Alright, I'm starting to feel kevved up again. I've been kevving up my engine. Oh, that was beautiful. We got a little, you know, exhausted earlier. Having some problems. Now I'm like, we're absolutely in an incredible situation. Consecrate 30 enemies slain. When Kevin pops, he don't stop. He's like a can of Mr. Prongles. We're gonna get another level here easily. You know, I'm starting to think there might be like a relevant skill I'm ignoring in this game. Beyond uh, spam clicking and hoping for the best. The relevant skill... Is uh... Trying to funnel all enemies down like a single corridor. So that our hits hit multiple enemies. And, uh, you know, whenever possible, stun lock multiple enemies, too. Couple of bad hits in there. Keep it going. You're doing okay. You're doing fine. Get him here. Check this out. It didn't work. My strategy did not work. I thought I would hit the trap. Everyone would say, wow, that's amazing. Albert Einstein would hand me a crisp $100 bill. You know the rest. Okay, it's decent. Dude, we got at least one more level coming our way. Don't shoot me with green spider goo, please. I know, I feel like I say this every episode now, but again, sincere thank you for the support on Children of Morta. Something more sinister would be appearing soon. Uh, okay. Um, you know, I don't, I wouldn't say it had a slow start, but I did see, like, some people were like, I don't really, uh, see what all the fuss is about. But over time, many, many people have told me this is one of their favored series on the channel, and when we miss a day, God help us. Honestly, the, the missing of days, I don't want to sound um, deterministic. Yo, resets the cooldown of all your abilities and fills your rage. I kind of like the buff. I'm gonna keep rolling with that. It's simple. I don't know if I'm using it properly, but it's simple. Um, it's kind of inevitable. Like, Dicey Dungeons was supposed to just, well, not supposed to, but it was just originally gonna be like, the I'm just adding this gun. for fun. And now I'm like, oh, I gotta grind this until it's done. So we're really rolling like four series, plus the Dan and Mathis videos, plus uh, not able to save. GeoGuessr, you know, we, we got a lot of stuff on the go. That, uh, wow, that was not worth the when totem. All was thought lost, we're carrying a lot of series, is all I'm saying. So occasionally stuff will miss a day. A burden, a young voice cried out. 
Oh. Stifling his sobs, the small boy spoke of his mother. She was not far away, and returning to her was his only need. Escort the refugee child to his mother. Uh, sir? I did not know that pressing F would start an escort mission. I apologize. You will be in a, a very dangerous situation here. I'll do my best. I'm not going to seek out any enemies. Hey, hey, hey. He's merely a child. You coming this way? You're coming this way. I'm coming this way. Don't attack. He's merely a boy. Okay, that worked out absurdly well for us. Don't you dare. Yo, that must be it. We've done it. Probably the greatest dad of all time, along with being the greatest gamer. Tears slipped down the mother's face in praise of her good fortune, thankful for her son's safety. From her belonging, she. And for the briefest of moments, displays the a divine the relic. Mortar became lighter upon the hero's shoulder. Oh. I wish at least that we had some food to offer. Yo! Damages enemies on contact. Found an item. Floating suns. I like the way they implement the side quests into these games. Or into this game, I should say. It's new as far as, you know, roguelites go. It's a, an interesting design problem for them to have tackled. The idea of, like, intermingling, you know, a game that's procedurally generated while simultaneously, you know, having that, what happens in those procedurally generated runs actually uh, do something, narratively speaking. Maybe it'll wear thin eventually, but for now, I'm like, it's real neat. I'll take him. I'm unafraid. There we go. That was our problem earlier, dude. I wasn't letting myself get in the mix enough, you know? We didn't... Yeah, no, okay. So we do have our rage meter. It's not full yet. I know that it puts us into the quote-unquote ultimate frenzy. Whatever the heck that ends up meaning. I'm assuming not invulnerability, but uh, very fast attack speed and damage would be my guess. Now, you know my question. How are we going to use that to scum... Ooh, you're so dumb. How are we going to use that to scum the crap out of the stone boss? Great question. <laughs> I still have no idea. Don't do it. I still feel like like that boss fight, it almost feels like a, a gear check slash like level check to me. Like the first couple of times we tried, we didn't even get close. So I'm hopeful that I'm wrong. This really feels like the exit. I'm hopeful that I'm wrong, but we'll see. So we got one more full floor. Increased critical hit chance. You gotta love it. Poisons damage enemy. I'm definitely gonna go for increased crit chance. We got a little bit more to explore. If I could get one more level, um, I mean, I would be over the moon. I just, uh, this is kind of a critical episode, I think. Because I feel like this is the one that's really, like, 
for me, I kind of feel like I'm in dire need of, like, some hope. You know, like, the, the feeling that I actually am making progress on that, uh, on that stone boss. Alright, I gotta admit, that was sick. <laughs> Drops a divine item. Sure. Small chance to recover health when attacking. That seems insane. So that was probably the most confident I've felt in Children of Morta right there. At least at this level. And it's shadow form. If you're wondering, like, oh, my headphone's broken. No, it's just shadow form. Sweetheart, look it up. I'm not too worried about extending our combo here. It's not that mission critical. But, you know, if you can, why not? I feel like we got a pretty good thing going here. Another 35 enemies killed. If you kill enemies um, in a combo, are they more likely to drop, like, orbs and stuff? That's what it seems like right now. It's definitely how it feels based on, you know, our, our performance there. Increases luck. So you know the strat now. I think we're done with this floor. We're going to save our rage meter, use it once on the boss, die instantly, and then wonder what went wrong. That's that's my MO. That's my style. I'm hip. I'm with it. Taka, 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 taka. But I think we got a, a good thing going here. I don't necessarily feel like we've got a fantastic run. What I do feel is like I'm more confident than I've been uh, in our own actual ability. Let's hope that's the case. Oh, okay. Poisons damage enemy. It's a lot of spiders. Okay, go shadow form. Get the heck out. Uh, what have we done? <laughs> a divine, a protector? Hey! A protector that provides armor and occasionally negates all incoming damage? What the heck did I do to deserve that? You know, I'm gonna use rage. Exclusively because we now have faster regenerate. Something more sinister would be appearing. Seems like soon. the right time to try. Excuse me, where's the summoning circle? Thank you. Had they only been quicker. Oh! Oh, so that's what red means. Red means they did get to summon it. I see. So just watch out for the meteor. Because the meteor man begs to differ, judging by the hole in the satellite picture. Save some rolls, just in case. Good stuff. Another level up. Can't be too mad about that. Um, next level will cost more skill points. Yeah, so this, this level's not worth much. But it's like a symbolic level for me. You know, I a little while ago, I probably would have said, like, I don't know. I don't know if Kevin's my dude. Now I'm like, I was wrong, man. Kevin, still very much my dude. Danger was on all sides. Despite being surrounded by all manner of hungering creatures, the two were busy arguing. Mm. It really makes you left. think. They should have gone right. Or perhaps they should have ever ventured forth at all. He's very fast. Good dodge. Not good. Wait. You're doing fine. That hurt, but I think you got him. He's done. You guys got something for me? The slightest crack. I knew it. In a person's created totem that distracts all, all that enemies. Needed to enter. Found an item. Ancient light. 
I don't really want to deviate. Like, the buff totem combined with our ult, like our rage ult, seems pretty solid to me. I feel like we got a good thing going there that I don't really want to mess with, to be honest. I'm basically ready to fight the boss if we're happening to come across the boss fight here. I think I would consider it the right time. You know, every run, I like to hit it with a superlative. You know, this run was our most well-rounded run. This was our best run. This run right here, highest damage output, no doubt. I refuse to believe we've had a run with more damage output than this. I don't think it's, I don't think it's possible. I mean, it's obvious. It, it's possible. I don't think it's possible that we've done it based on our, our previous runs. So whenever you see the heart, don't get too excited. I'm pretty sure that means that we uh, healed for three HP. So it's not nothing. But it is pretty close to nothing. Thank God for the orbs. Don't hit me. Why do I take this totem? <laughs> Next time you see this totem, you say no. Are we at the boss? Not at the boss. That's good. It's a good thing. As long as we can keep our HP high enough. Dude, have you noticed, by the way, the, the speed at which we're killing uh, the larger minions? Like, I'm starting to feel like we're getting there. So I think this is another, like, trap room. I'm willing to give it a shot. It's a, There's a free relic in it for us. Go ahead, go ahead. Got him, got him, got him. <laughs> Still going? I didn't need to heal for two. That was a huge over, overplay there. We could leave this better than we found it. Pretty easily, even still. Okay. What do you got for me? More regen would be nice. Y'all, okay. Absolutely. I like the buff, but I think having like an actual potion to heal during the boss fight. Oh my god. Things went wrong pretty quickly. I feel like that's worth a lot. Dude, I love being able... I never considered this. When I was talking... Uh, about our... Uh, like, ghost form. Being able to get into an engagement on our terms is worth more than I initially gave it a chance to do. Um, all I mean by that, increases critical hit chance, sure. Because we should have maybe waited on that one until we got to the boss fight, but what the heck is this? Increases maximum health at the expense of decreased damage. That's uh, okay. And it synergizes well with our relic as well. But what I mean is with shift, sure, the, the greater damage chance is nice. But really, like part of the goodness here, to me, appears to be uh, being able to get into an engagement on your own terms. So instead of having to walk, you know, through the melee enemies to get to the ranged enemies, you could just sneak behind. Trying not to get my hopes up here, but you know I'm thinking. If things go... 
completely perfectly. With this uh, totem, we got a chance to maybe get one more level. Please stop shooting me, spider. It's very rude. I saw that one coming. Well, we'll probably have a shop before the exit anyway. I haven't figured out if you always get a shop, sometimes get a shop, etc., etc. All I know for now... Seems like we usually get a shop before the boss. But the real problem is, you know... We've kind of been dancing around it, like... We need to not get hit by every single one of the boss's attacks. <laughs> in order for us to be able to learn more, we have to be able to stick in that fight for more than 30 seconds. Melee companion that fights by your side. Just a little bit of HP that's not really relevant. Dude, how about a melee companion that fights at your side? I was really hoping we'd be able to get the other one too, but let's head down. I'm ready. What's what's the strat? Honestly, I'm kind of like shift control as soon as you enter the fight and just go to town. That's that's my current game plan. Whether or not it'll actually work, I'm skeptical. But I think we did our due diligence there. We leveled up nicely. I think we got a chance. I feel the adrenaline. Goddess of anguish. Let's do it. Being of stone. So we're going control right out of the gate. Shift first, then control. Well, it's definitely the best we've ever done. Oh, do you just have to like be out of range of that? Let me out, please. Let me out, please, sir. No, not like this. I'm letting the swordsman do his work. He woke up. Get ready. Swordsman! I told you it was a DPS check. <laughs> oh. Oh, that feels good. Huge victory. We needed an injection of fresh content. Finally free of the corruption's hold, Anaya Dyer gazed upon the Bergson, her emerald eyes weary with exhaustion. We, we purged the corruption from the Kale Dippo Caves. That much is guaranteed. I'm prepared for about 80 cutscenes when we get back. He's actually done it. Hook me up with that sweet drip of lore. Yay! Kevin! We did it, Kevin! Kevin, you've done it. We know you can do it, Kevin! The spirit's words took life, forming images to reveal what was hidden from the Bergsons. And us, spirits three, knelt before the mountain god U to swear fealty. Our wills were set on peace. His were set on testing ours. And as the test drew to a close, we discovered our wretched ending. A 
Once the mountain god exacted vengeance on the children of Rhea Dana and tainted Rhea with the corruption. Basically just seems like a jerk. We don't even have an underlying motive yet. Thus just was another truth revealed general to the Bergson. But many more bad manedness still. Questions were abundant in the Berkson's minds. If the Mountain God was the source of the corruption, what had made him wreak such havoc? How had no one known about him before? They needed to find the next spirit, as maybe they had an answer to some of their questions. More truths awaited them in the land of the winds. Mm. Land of the Winds, a.k.a. Flying Enemies, a.k.a. Lots of cheap deaths for us. Ooh! New character as well. Now, the fire child was ready. Chandra? Another ranged character. Thank you. Please have Kevin teach her. Okay, well, before we finish this episode, if there's there's no more cutscenes, okay. I want to look at the tab here. John recovered from corruption fatigue. Mark recovered from corruption fatigue. We got some souvenirs. Lucy is now available. Okay. The evils of Lucy was all around me. But first, Ben's and yet workshop. another letter, this time more intimate. All Ben wanted to hear. Something anything from Sheila. He made no requests and made no mention of past events. Once again, he considered going to Terra Lava if no reply was forthcoming. Ben, you're having a sad day. Let's see what's going on with the Book of Rhea. You bum me out, Ben. I think, sure, let's, let's put money. You know, here's the thing. It's boring, but at the same time, you're rarely going to be mad about investing money to make more money, I imagine. Can we get two levels? I don't believe... Well, actually, easily. Get some armor. And then, uh... Let's raise the dodge chance. I'm basically saying... I'm the happiest when dodge works, so let's raise dodge. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. We had a lot of progress. We'll be back to check out the fire starter next time. And we'll see you, we'll see you then. Click the like button, subscribe, etc., etc. See ya. See ya.